So getting this leadoff guy on is huge for them. Aroldis Chapman is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. And he lays off there 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. Oh. Well, you've got the matchup you wanted, but that's not going to amount to much if you can't throw strikes. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Right on the corner, 2-2. Two and, two. and he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. With him in there trying to preserve a one-run lead, the first thing he wants to do, don't let that leadoff hitter get on base to start the inning. That's a nice way to approach him. Now he's just two outs away from wrapping this one up. I had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. Well, if there is one worry about a closer throwing this hard, if anyone squares up on a fastball, this game could be tied before you know it. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Mike Napoli will stand in, and their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. And you can tell by the way these guys are swinging. They're just not picking the ball up very well. A lot of late swings. Pitches are getting on these guys quick. Swing and a miss, and now the Tribe finds themselves down to their last strike. Living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you if you're putting pitches there. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Oh, and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. There's a strike. It's two and one. Right back inside with a fastball. This time, he got the call. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Lonnie Chisenhall is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And there's ball one. Anxious moments all over the ballpark now. These folks can hardly bear to watch. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And after years, decades of futility, we can finally say the words. The Chicago Cubs have won the World Series. Well, let the celebrating begin. This is a World Series for the ages. And it came down to a Game 7, but all along, I really felt like this was the better team, and they proved it here. They are the world champions. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs. 